you can see my hair is still detangled from root to tip and it's still really moisturized so yeah so my hair has been freshly washed and dried with a cotton shirt when you have two textures it really doesn't matter how detangled your hair is you're still going to need to do some more detangling after washing but before doing this i moisturize my hair to give it slip and make it easier for the strands to put apart from each other i start by sectioning my hair off and i follow the lco method to moisturize which for me is a leave-in cream then oil. So for the L, I apply Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Treatment. This is my first time using this and I actually loved it. So I'm definitely going to be using this more often. You'll notice that my roots are really thick. So I'm having to separate each section out and ensure that I get the cream onto each strand of hair. So then the C is the Camille Rose Almond J Twist and Butter. It's really thick, it's creamy, and it's deeply moisturizing. Then I'm using coconut oil to seal all the moisture in. I then detangle using a wide tooth comb. After moisturising and detangling each small section, I then plaited it up and continue to do this throughout my hair. And I don't know about you, but watching people do their hair is so therapeutic to me. So I'm just going to show you a few more sections. Once all the hair is braided up and moisturized, I put a silk scarf on, I went to bed, and I took the plaits out in the morning. And here are the results. And you can see my hair is still detangled from root to tip, and it's still really moisturized. So thank you for watching, and again, if you haven't watched my um, how to wash transitioning hair video do go ahead and do that because I do show some tricks and how to make sure your hair doesn't mat up and get all knotty and to make sure you just basically lose the least amount of hair possible